food poisoning. It is a very common disease and in fact yesterday only I met a friend who is suffering from this disease. Hey, what happened? I am having some serious stomachache and vomiting from last few days. Doctor said it's a case of food poisoning. Oh, food poisoning? Food poisoning. Do you know what is food poisoning? Yes, I read somewhere that food poisoning it occurs due to the consumption of some dirty food and water. Did you eat any street food? Truth be told, yes, I did. But what's the relation between food poisoning and street food? Well, this food poisoning, you know, in this case, the bad microorganisms, when they affect or they attack the food material, they produce some toxic chemicals in them. What toxic chemicals? These toxic chemicals, when they get mixed with the food, and when you eat such kind of food, these chemicals, they cause poisoning in your body. Oh, that's why? Yeah, in fact, I must tell you, that you know in some cases this food poisoning can be so severe that a person may die. Am I gonna die? No, no, you're not gonna die since you have already visited a doctor. You are safe now. But you should always take some precautions to avoid such diseases. You know, you should always consume healthy food. Healthy means you should always consume some clean and covered food. You must wash your hands also while eating or while cooking. And I'm sure you know some food preservation methods like you can always boil your food or maybe you can refrigerate it and sometimes you can add some chemicals into it to avoid that entry of you know the bad microorganisms. So will you take care from now onwards? I will. Thanks. Take care buddy. Thanks. So now you know that food poisoning is caused due to the consumption of dirty food and water. But you can always prevent it by consuming clean and covered food. You should also ensure that you always wash your hand while eating or while cooking. And not just that, you should always preserve your food by maybe heating, boiling or let's say by chilling it in the refrigerator or you can also add some chemicals to it too store it. So all these methods they prevent the attack of microorganisms in your food.